Hi everyone, the Lord has given this word for me to release today for you and this word will not be applicable for everyone. So if this word resonates in your spirit, ask the Lord for confirmation and ask him how to apply and make the necessary changes in your life. I will type out this word and I will put the link down in the description for you where you can have a read through it in your own time on the blog page. Just remember God is for you, he loves you, he sees you, he hears you, and you are important to him. So the Lord said, Near and far, high and low, from the deepest depths of the earth to the highest peaks of the heaven, tell me, child, what measure are you using to measure my love for you? You see, you use a measure that is limited and bound to creation. How then can you measure be accurate? You see, I made all of creation out of time and outside of earthly measurements. Your measurement will never be able to correctly correlate to my infinite love for you. It is beyond your understanding and beyond your comprehension. Everything I do is a mystery to you. You cannot read my thoughts, nor can you know my next moves unless I reveal them to you. And even then, I do not disclose all of it fully to you, because you, a mere human, would not be able to understand it. You are my creation, therefore you have limits. When you tap into me, I expand your limits, for I have none. Refusing to surrender and to submit to my ways will cause you great wrestling and strife in your soul, because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The quicker you yield and surrender to my ways, the quicker the wrestling inside of you will calm down. It is a painful process to deny yourself, saying no to your flesh, but each time you do, you overcome and become stronger in me. What I have spoken, I will accomplish. Know that you are flesh and that I am God most high. Do not allow your perspective to become obscured. If you forget that you are flesh and try to be God of your own life by thinking you know better than I do regarding your situation and then contemplating your own plans out of your own wisdom, will you not stumble and fall? Just because I don't move the way you would like, desire or expect does not mean that I don't have plans in place for your rescue. Be careful, child. Pride goes before a fall. Those who continually walk in humility before me and who are quick to surrender to my ways, even if they don't understand, they are blessed. They are blessed for they do not rely on their own insight or understanding. They carry the fear of the Lord. They know that I love them, no matter the outcome of their situation. They keep following me in obedience, regardless of their understanding. Is that not how my disciples followed in days of old? Do not allow what you think is needed in your life to override your obedience towards me. I am a rewarder. I reward a man according to his conduct and as his deeds deserve. Am I not fair and just? Am I not righteous and holy? Do not I fill all of heaven and earth? Trust and follow me. I see how everything needs to fit together so that my purposes can be accomplished in the earth. I have you in the palm of my hand and you cannot be snatched out of it, but you can choose to walk out of it. Remain close to me. So my beautiful God, Lord, I thank you so much for this word. I pray, my Lord, that you will let this word reach whoever needs to hear it in a timely fashion. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for my brother and sister who has a wrestling and a strife in their heart and soul regarding to things not turning out the way that they would thought or like. I pray, Lord, that you help them to quiet their hearts and minds in your peace and that they will feel your closest, um, closeness tangibly. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that you help them to spot the new pathway you have for them or the side road you want them to follow, Lord. And I pray, God, that even if it doesn't fit what they thought, that they will just continue walking in obedience. I pray that you'll bless them and keep them in Jesus' most holy name. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. God bless you.